What is brown butter? It is not butter made from brown milk, whatever that is. Instead, it is um, heating up your butter over the stove so that you can take out all the moisture content, the water content, and at the same time, brown and caramelize the milk solids in the butter so that they become really nutty and concentrated in butter flavor. It's like someone turned up the volume on butter. Now, first of all, take a pot that is slightly bigger than what you would usually use for melting butter because later on it's going to rise and if it overflows, then you're gonna have a lot of trouble. Trust me, I've tried to clean up this stove so many times and it's still, I'm still suffering from the last oil spill. Next, you wanna take the butter and put it into the pot. And then turn the heat up to about a medium heat. Yeah, and next you want to have a whisk handy because you want to keep stirring the bottom so that it does not burn but instead it will get into a nice even brown. Well you want to stir occasionally to make sure that the bottom doesn't burn faster than the ones on top. You can also use the whisk to scrape off any brown bits that are forming on the side of the pot. When you see the foam on the top turning brown, it is done. Now once your brown butter is ready, you want to pour it into a bowl that is sitting in an ice bath. Uh, my butter is a little bit burned because I had to set up the camera. So remember, always pour your brown butter immediately into the ice bath. Otherwise, it will continue cooking until it gets burned. liquid gold. So that's how you make brown butter. You can take a small portion of the brown butter that is cooled down and whip it together with an equal portion of normal butter that is softened at room temperature and form a brown butter spread that is delicious on toast. You can also use the brown butter in liquid form and of course cooled down. Um, in your recipes such as my brown butter banana muffins that is found on my blog at faymaisonblog.com Go on my blog and check out that recipe and others. Well, till the next time I see you, have a wonderful, wonderful time baking and eating. Bye-bye!